Good day grade 11 welcome to this next lesson in Euclidean geometry. In this lesson we're going to extend your knowledge a bit further and we're going to start talking about tangents to a circle. Now a tangent is a line that just touches, it doesn't cross the triangle, the, the circle at all. So for example if I drew a line like this, this would not be a tangent because it crossed the circle in two places. A tangent just touches and something that we take taken as known is that a tangent is always perpendicular to the radius. It is something that we consider to be a known fact and therefore we can use it in our theorems. So the first theorem we're going to go through is if two tangents are drawn from the same point outside a circle then they're equal in length. And we're given a circle O and we're told that there are two tangents PA and PB, PA and PB, where A and B are points respectively on the touch where the tangents touch a circle and we need to prove that AP is equal to BP. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to construct a couple of lines. The two lines that I'm first going to construct are the lines that we've just been told about which is that if we have a tangent then we know that it is perpendicular to the radius and then I'm going to join OP. And the reason I'm doing that is because now I've got two triangles and if I can prove by congruency that these two triangles are equal to each other or are congruent to each other then that means that that would mean that AP equals BP and therefore I've just proven that these two are equal in length. So let's do this. So first of all you construct. You have to write down your constructions and our constructions are OA OB and OP. Then we say in triangle OAP, so we've got OAP and triangle OBP, OBP. First of all, we know that OA equals OB because they are radii of the circle O. Therefore, OA is equal to OB, why? Because they are radii. We know that this angle A is equal to this angle B, why? Because we've been told the radii are always perpendicular to the tangent. So therefore we know that angle O, AP, OAP, OAP is equal to angle OBP which equals 90 degrees and we can say tangent to circle. Right. Now we know that OP is common because we do it like that. It is the common line between these two triangles. So we can say OP is equal to OP and it is common. So therefore can you see that this triangle is congruent to this triangle because it's right angle hypotenuse side right angle hypotenuse side. So therefore we can say that triangle OAP is congruent to triangle OBP and the reading would be RHS. Okay? And therefore we can say AP is equal to BP. So we've just proven our theorem. Let's look at the next theorem. The next theorem says the angle between the tangent and the chord, the angle between the tangent and the chord drawn to the point in contact is equal to the angle which the chord subtends in the alternate segment. Oh, that's scary. Okay, this is actually called the tan chord theorem and there's a much easier way to think about it, but let's just see what we're given. It says the circle with center O and we've got tangent SR touching the circle at B and we've got chord AB okay and we've got angle P1 and Q1. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to construct this here and what I'm constructing is basically joining I'm drawing, drawing the diameter of this and I'm joining T. So I'm going to construct diameter BT and then I'm going to join 
AT. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is the reason I want to do this is because then I can start looking at what I've got and what am I trying to prove? Basically what I'm trying to prove is the angle between the tangent and this chord or that whole chord there is equal to the angle that it's subtended by. So in other words that angle would equal that angle or that whole angle would equal this angle. So let us see what we can do. So let us let angle ATB ATB equal X. Let's let that equal X. Okay right. Then what do we know about tangents and diameters? We know that they are 90 degrees, right? So therefore we can say if we're looking at, let's just choose that line there. Okay, sorry about I've been skewed. We can say that angle ABS, angle ABS plus angle ABT, ABT equals 90 degrees and the reason it equals 90 degrees is because the tangent is always perpendicular to the radius right happy with that but we also know that this angle here is equal to 90 degrees why because it's angle in a semicircle so we know that angle T a B is equal to 90 degrees why angle in a semicircle. Right. That means that this angle plus that angle has to equal 90 degrees because the angle sum of triangle makes those 180 degrees, right? So therefore we've got that X plus angle ABT ABT has to equal 90 degrees. So now you can see that these two are equal to each other because they're both equal 90 degrees, right? Therefore we can say that angle ABS ABS is equal, sorry, plus, let me do it slower, ABT is equal to X plus ABT. But ABT is common on both sides. So therefore we're saying that angle ABS is equal to X. So let me just highlight that with a different color. What are we saying? We're saying angle ABS is equal to X. So we've just proven that the angle between the tangent and the chord is equal to the angle subtended by that chord. And do you see, if I could take this a little bit further just to prove it to you again, do you see that angle T is subtended by AB? and Q is subtended by AB. So therefore Q1 is also X and that's also being subtended by this line AB. So therefore if this angle is X that angle, the angle between the tangent and chord is equal to the angle subtended by that chord. In this case it would be T which I made up and X. Okay, do you get it? And that is called the tan chord theorem. And grade 11s, you need to be able to prove this and use this. And obviously, we're going to be doing examples of this in the next lesson. Have a lovely day.